Okay, in today's video we're having a look at a, uh, a high gain uh, ham 4 that uh, I have just finished um, basically a basic ref, uh, service and, uh, and some upgrades on it. Uh, this originally was a customer's, um, I'll just pan up, this originally was a customer's one that I did some major upgrades on a couple of years ago I believe, I don't know the exact date. Um, so yeah, um, uh, he, he traded the back in and upgraded. So I'm just, uh, and I stripped it down, cleaned it out, and I did some more upgrades on it um, to um, yeah bring it up to what I normally do now. So basically, um, we'll have a look at the rotator first. The rotator itself is just a standard ham four, except I've moved the motor start capacitor to the into the rotator, um, and it fits nicely. And I've also when I and, and that's what I did before. I've also put on a, a cinch plug and a cover plate on the bottom here. So basically, and also this has been upgraded to be, work with seven wires instead of the old eight wires, which is easier to get a hold of in Australia here. So basically, it's uh, just basically a, a hand four. And uh, basically, I'm just uh, just trying to give a quick go on this one. So basically, um, yeah, the, the when I first did the job for him, um, so we can run seven core trailer cable. Um, I did the upgrades I did was move the motor start capacitor from the controller to the rotator uh, which saved me two wires and then I separated the zero volts of the motor and the brake and put that on and put the motor onto pin four um, which means then I could, can use seven core trailer cable I don't have to have big wire for the um, for pin one. So basically this is yeah, we could look at the insides here. So basically, um, the mods I did before were, um, were basically just rewiring in here. The motor start capacitor was moved obviously up to the rotator. Uh, at that stage it had a standard PC board in it um, and that was all working fine. So when I, when I, come, when I got this back, um, of course it still had the old incandescent, incandescent bulb and probably as you can see here, right in there, it's actually melted the top of the actual um, the meter. So basically what I've done is I put one of my prototype uh, PCBs in which has a 12 volt output supply to drive my LED, 12 by LED um, display lights. So that's an LED light underneath it and that, it's one of those um, uh, waterproof style ones that I happen to use. So the board's actually a prototype which was pre to my um, one that I actually have manufactured now. I just thought I'd use this one to upgrade it and make it look a bit better. Uh, at that time I have to put in a different uh, transformer. So this is a 15 volt output transformer so it can drive the actual LED display because I use a uh, voltage regulator, 12 volts voltage regulator and they can't handle any more than 30, uh, 35 volts as you probably know. Um, because t the original transformer puts out about 26 which makes it too close to the 35 and, and sometimes over 36 volts so so basically yeah the, the upgrade originally was just uh, do the wiring changes here um, so you can probably see on the front there um, it's a fairly clean unit um, in all intents and purposes it doesn't have all the other tricky mods that I've done to other ones um, like brake delay and automatic brake release and stuff like that that I, I normally do to these ones so so basically this is just a, a standard upgrade one I just wanted to just bring up a bit more you know put LED lighting in it which does illuminate this display a lot better so so basically that's um, about it or that's what I probably should do um, the screwdriver I shall give you a quick view of the bottom just to show you I probably should have done this before undone the screws in preparation but I didn't oh well too bad so of course I, when I put my new board in I had to do some bit of a bit of cutting away on the uh, to fit the, uh, the board in with the with the capacitors because this meter here is a deeper meter than the other ones so basically what I had to do is a bit of cutting away to my shadows here I didn't turn the other lights on, did I? Maybe I should turn the other lights on. That, that might be better. So in here I had to do some cutting away there of the sub chassis. Probably still can't see it in here because of the where the light is. I had a bit of cutting away there to get rid of that capacitor. That's all good, no problem. So basically, you can probably see the actual piece of board a bit more. Something I just made up um, and fit it in. I've also put a protector around the hole here so wires don't rub, um, just to make it look a bit neater and tidier. So you can see the base is, um, and there's no rust in this and 
Now sometimes you see these pretty rusty and whatnot, so um, but you know, I'll probably sit up in there a bit better. So yeah, and I'll put new feet on it. These are some new feet that I got a hold of. They go through and they push through a little pin throughs, uh, and basically much better feet. So now which way was it? It was that way, wasn't it? So I'll just we're just going to take it for a bit of a quick run once we once I get it all back here again. So yeah, that was just for sort of, um, do this video to um, show it all working. Um, so yeah, we're just moving over there. So I'm up in there for now. I'll just quickly wire up the um, since it's a cinch plug. It's cinch all right because you just lift it up. Probably can't see what I'm doing, but whatever. Over to the side here. Put it into there. Move that behind there. Plug him in here. all just temporary sort of stuff and it's only seven quarts cable tool as well so it pushes back as far as we can go so we can see the display might pan it down a bit so okie dokie so I'll plug him in and uh, we'll turn him on and you probably did it actually see the display come up it does come up uh, not too bad I'll move that to there and then we'll just uh, bend the fact that it hasn't been modified so you've got your, your solenoid brake in the middle um, and basically there, you, and so you press the solenoid the braking and then you just drive it, we'll drive around to the left and you can probably just see the uh, needle moving so yeah, it's, I've stripped, the rotator has been completely stripped down um, and cleaned out and um, checked everything else out uh, I don't know how long it was sitting for or whatever so I basically even replaced the bearings uh, and cleaned everything up and then basically reassembled it again uh, and went from there so yeah so there we are, we're coming around the south um, there we go. That's out. And we go back to back the other way. I just hope my battery doesn't die before I finish this video because uh, just, I'll just pop this pan up a bit. Make a bit of noise, I'm sorry, but you see him going right around. Come back out again. Just past west. Good height. Oh, yeah. Pass north. And at night time the LED light does look really nice. So it, it's um, too much light here now with all the other lights I've got shining over so you don't probably see the benefit of it. Um, so we mount it. Oh, okay. just past east. So just trying to go right around, and uh, yeah, the rotator itself was uh, in really good condition on the inside. And um, so basically, we'll take it back to north again. And um, yeah, the it was still very clean inside. There was no rust, no electrolysis, or anything else. Uh, I cleaned the outside up as best I could. As you can probably see, there's a, a little bit of. Uh, could it be spray paint? I don't know what he's done. Um, he might have spray painted his tower. It may be, it may be paint, maybe just discoloration. Um, but you know, all in all, it's in pretty good condition. Here we are coming back up to north. And we'll um, sit in there. There we go. No problems. All good. So we'll, um, I'll put this all back together again. And um, basically, uh, it'll be up for sale uh, once I get it all packed up and, and ready to So we turn him off. Oh, and by the way, it actually comes with a cinch plug for the rotator, so that comes for the, for the plug of that in. And this one has screw terminal in here, because I haven't actually upgraded it at all, so you know, we can show this very well here. So it's just a screw terminal on the back, and only seven wires are used because it's seven core trailer cable. You can just use seven core trailer cable, so it means it's easier to get a hold of. Okay, that's, that's all. Have a good one. I'll catch you next video. Bye.